Hello everyone and welcome back. In this video, we'll be taking a look at the BF Club, which is the compact car that's been added into GTA Online. I mean, in every DLC, Rockstar is adding one of these compact cars into the game with a lot of customizations, so it is pretty cool. This car is based off the Volkswagen Golf Mark 1. I thought it was the Mark 2, but it is actually the Mark 1. And the resemblance is a lot, as you can make out from the photos and the one in game. And also the name on the car, I actually made a mistake when I made the first video taking a first glance at the car and I thought it was a Russian car but and a viewer kindly corrected me and it is actually German for the citizen car. So pretty good, you know, they've got the Mark 1. The car in itself is pretty much basic guys. I mean, it's an old school car so, so we can't expect too much from this thing. Even the interiors are pretty basic. So yeah, let's go check out all the customizations this car has to offer. There's not like a set design that I want to get done with this car. So I'll just, you know, check out all the customizations and get the ones which I kind of like whilst showcasing all the options available. Going with the first one itself, we have got the bodywork. So we have got the sticker bomb ones, the carbon panels and all those stuff. I'm not a huge fan of these sticker bomb ones. Well, some of you are, but I'm personally not. And uh, we also have the carbon doors and the trunk. Unfortunately, we don't have these, you know, all of the panels. Next, we have the front bumpers. We can actually remove them. There's the low level bumper, mounted oil cooler. Oh, racing kit and the competition kit. Okay. I'll be going with the full bumper. Yeah, it kind of looks good. Next, with the rear bumpers, we also have the option to remove it chrome low level full bumper as usual and as usual full bumper for this one next we have the exhaust we have a few options for this i think i'll be going with i mean it's kind of hidden under the bumper there so but still i think i'll be going with the big bore exhaust oh look at this blast pipes huh. i think i'll be going with the chrome big bore exhaust for this one yeah, the sound is going to be good, so yeah, I'll be getting that. Next, the engine upgrades, as usual, the level 4. Then we have the fenders, we have the half covers and the full covers. I'll be going with the full covers. Next, the headlight covers. Uh, hold on, let me tell you guys. Even in the earlier DLC one, we had got the Vapid Retinue. And for that too, I would actually, you know, kind of done the same thing. I'll explain to you. I'll get the horizontal tape. And for the lights, I'll get the Xenon lights. So what it does is it kind of, I mean, not exactly, but to a certain extent, it kind of makes it look like a modern light, more like an LED lights. So for that purpose, I'll be doing this kind of a modification. And then we have the hoods. We have a few options here as well. We have the sticker bomb ones, the carbon hoods, low level vented hood. I kind of like this one. We have the racing hoods and all, skinned hood, no way. <laughs> I think I'll be going with the low level vented hood. This looks good. Next we have the lights we already got. So we have the liveries, we have the stripes, retro, half tone flames, jackal retro. Okay, this kind of adds stripes all across the body, even on the hoods. And also you can see that there's a jackal, you know, logo on top of the hood. Kind of a good, nice detail there. Los Santos Customs. I don't want to go around advertising Los Santos Customs, you know. Huh. I don't want to do that. We have the bigness, racing ones, military panels. This looks good. Oh, look at that. <laughs> That's a nice touch. All those car logos are kind of scratched out. So cool. Oh my god. The war club. This is just like the military panels, but it has got that but it has got that you know shark teeth and ice kind of a livery on top. So I kind of like that. We also have the rusted versions. I'm not gonna be getting any of those. But I think I'll be going with the war club itself. Mainly for that you know shark kind of a face on the side. So yeah, next we have the plates, as usual custom plates, but I think I'll be choosing the black plate for this, yeah. 
kind of you know blends along with those black panels next we have the respray options um black nope red looks good i mean majority of the golf gti's are in red or blue so even the photo that i posted is in red but i won't be going with those colors i have a different color option even the blue looks good honestly yeah but for this build i think i'll be going with uh yellow not the normal one but the race yellow yeah this kind of looks good so i'll be going with this one for this build guys it also highlights the teeth and the eyes it's there as as so good so we also have the secondary color what does it even change uh exteriors i don't see any change at all okay nope next we have the roof okay so the window lowers or the chrome roof racks nice oh mobile radio station i hope we can actually play music out of them we also have the competition ties i mean just imagine guys you know having these speakers you know blowing out songs with high volume running across the map that is going to be hilarious so for this build i think we'll go with the window lowers also the competition ties i kind of noticed one thing if you take a closer look at those the ties are actually Technology wider technology. than the stock ones than the ones that are actually installed on the car the one that's installed is tiny you know and look at those tires on the top they are massive more like an suv or an off-road tires doesn't actually suit the car so i won't be getting that instead i'll be getting the window lowers and then we have the spoiler options nice the roof wing it actually looks good this um no the drift wing we have the competition wing this actually looks good you know it actually suits the car whoa the performance wing this wing is massive it is actually wider than the car itself okay i think i'll be going with the the roof wing also looks good but it is too you know basic so i'll be getting the competition wing and i'll be getting the carbon version of that yeah a little bit of the black on top looks good how many cars you got all right we also have the sun stripes and also the covers oh it actually covers the rear side windows but unfortunately it doesn't cover the rear window so it's kind of you know incomplete or if you guys gonna build any of these rally kind of a car then this would actually suit it yeah but for this build i don't think i'll be getting that instead you know i can just get the window tints so i won't be getting that next the suspension you can slam this car huh. i'll just get one step lowered yeah the lowered suspension window tints yeah let me just get that one completely open one is also okay but i'm not a huge fan of that so a uh, limo window tent as always next moving on to the wheels we'll check out the street wheels for this nice some of these actually suit the car oh hot ring steely this looks good the stanced eg custom this also actually suits the car we have the mercy concave some of these new wheels are actually good you know we have concave racer deep flake reverse the deep flake reverse is actually good oh concave mega mesh i think i'll be getting this yeah <laughs> no yeah that's the one next the wheel color blacking out actually makes it you know look bolder than it usually is but yeah i think i'll go with the white one cuz it kind of you know makes it stand out the other options well the orange and yellow the yellow doesn't actually quite match the car cuz the body color is a different yellow and the wheels is slightly brighter so i don't want to do that 
instead I'll just go with the white option yeah looks cool you know the tire designs we can get them but so here we go fully customized let's go check out how it drives and here we are outside boy look at that thing it's also shooting flames and the sound is actually good because we got that bigger exhaust so i kind of like that light is also looking good interiors well the dials it's you know half covered half visible so kind of okay the handling and speed the speed is actually you know better compared to those previous vehicles the previous dlc maxwell asbo that was actually terrible guys i disliked that car right away it was so terrible but this thing is actually far better compared to that one the speed is really good compared to that the handling also is kind of good it doesn't lose traction drifting is decent and it is a front wheel drive car as you can see right there so pretty cool and you guys you know can't expect much of a performance in this thing this is more like a fun car you know to take it to car shows and all those or hang out with friends and those styles but other than that you can't expect much from this so just use it for that purpose and also the turning radius isn't much for this the wheels actually doesn't turn you can make out from that clip right there so there we have it the bf club volkswagen golf mark one overall for the customizations and the handling and speed it is quite okay but is it worth 1.3 million dollars price tag that is in the price range of the sports and the supercars category this is a bloody compact car let that sink in for a moment this is a front wheel drive compact car priced at 1.3 million dollars like i said in the earlier videos rockstar has really lost it this time majority of these vehicles are ridiculously overpriced they just don't make sense i mean a sports car supercars priced at 2 million dollars that is fine but a basic old school compact priced at 1.3 million dollars an SUV priced at 1.3 million dollars that is absolutely ridiculous guys I mean I will leave it to you guys to decide if it's worth it I honestly would say it is not worth it until and unless you're a car collector or a car guy just want to you know get it and customize it and have lots of money but if you're short on money it's not worth wasting on these particular vehicles you know instead you can get other vehicles that perform much better like the one that's right next to it the Penumbra FF it's much better compared to this one so i'll just leave it to you guys to decide let me know your opinions and thoughts about this car down in the comments and yeah that's it for this video guys do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you're new to the channel thank you all and have a good day